and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm your astrologer and tarot card reader, Mary Trimble, here with your readings for September the 30th through October the 6th. Time is flying, guys. If you are returning, thank you so much. I appreciate your loyalty and support of my channel. I really appreciate you. Thank you. And if you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoy these readings and that you will return. Um, guys, these are general readings. They're for the collective. Sometimes the messages can be specific. Um, so take what resonates and just leave the rest. If you would like a personal, more tailored reading, uh, please click on this link or go to the show more section below in the description box and you will find uh, a link to my video, uh, sorry, to my website where you can see what kind of readings I offer. Uh, now, uh, what else? Um, yes, these readings are for your sun, moon, and rising. So the other links to all the videos, the other videos will be below. Sometimes it takes me a minute to get them all up there um, as I'm uploading and uh, getting them on YouTube. So just check back. Um, now, I also have a Facebook group, and in that Facebook group, every two weeks I do a live feed. It's a private group, so you must ask to be a member, and I uh, we look at either the new moon or the full moon, and we see how it affects your sign, only for those who uh, attend. And then I have my tarot cards, and we uh, I answer questions for uh, people who are there. So that's fun. Join uh, my Facebook group. Another way to support this channel is through Patreon. You can click on that link here and or find that below too. And I want to thank all my patrons. Thank you so much for your generosity, your support, and your belief in my um in my art. Now, uh, lastly, these readings come in three sections. First, the intro, which is this, and I will have the skip time if you're checking out your sun, moon, and rising below. Then there's the astrological report, what's going on in the celestial sky. The skip time to that will be below. And then the tarot reading for your sign. Um, so without further ado, let's go to the astrology report, shall we? Hello and welcome to the astrology section of your reading for September 30th through uh, October the 6th and what a major crazy astrological sky we have uh, this week. So um, the first, I mean, huge shifts in energy, guys. I mean, this is, you know, a lot of people are going through a lot of change, a lot of turmoil. There's a, anyway, before I run ahead of myself, I'm going to start with September the 30th, Monday. Um, for some people, it's Monday the 30th or for, uh, depending on where you are in the planet, or it's October the 1st. Here in the Eastern Hemisphere, it's October the 1st. Um, Venus is square Pluto. Now, this is a challenging aspect um, when, uh, when we're talking about squares, right? This can bring up, you know, Venus is about relationship, it's about love, it can be about finance too, and Pluto is this like dredging up things, you know, to come up the truth sometimes, as uncomfortable as that can be. So in relationships, this can mean uh, jealousy, manipulation. I'm looking over here because I have the chart, which I'm going to put up here um, when I post the video, so you'll be able to see it. Um, so this can cause jealousy or manipulation or perhaps control in uh, relationships. It's like you can easily get infatuated with someone new. So if you meet someone new, remember that. Um, it's the kind of energy where you fall head over heels um, for someone, but it can turn into an obsession. It's that kind of power dynamic. It's like you meet someone and they're amazing, they're gorgeous, everyone thinks they're fabulous, and you're like, ooh, I can't believe I got this one, right? So you'll do anything to keep them and you you try to be what they want you to be. And, and in doing so, that kind of turns them off because who wants that? Everyone wants authenticity and they want 
you know, they, people, uh, you know, they want confidence. When someone's confident, that's very attractive. So when you're not, and you're worried about what someone's thinking all the time and what they're doing, and you're really trying to, you know, um, perhaps entice them with your sensual prowess or whatever it is that you're trying to get them to stick around for, um, it doesn't work. It kind of has the opposite effect. Um, now, it's really important to be aware of meeting someone new right now, you know, be aware of those feelings and, uh, and, and to be as authentic as possible. It's really important to come back to you. It doesn't matter if this doesn't work out. You really kind of have to remind yourself of that, um, this week in particular. And remember that in your own relationship, you know, uh, you can, you can choose to trust someone, um, instead of, you know, uh, being so insecure with insecurities can come up at this time too. So now October, the big, big, big news, which kind of accentuates what's going on with, uh, the challenging aspect between Venus and Pluto, um, and it accentuates all those kind of feelings is that Pluto stations direct. So it's been going retrograde and now it's really slowed down. So all the qualities of Pluto are amplified and we are seeing it on a global scale, right? So what, you know, Pluto is getting ready to move forward. Um, so Pluto dredges all the dirt, you know, it gets really deep and it dredges all that dirt up and brings it into the light. And we get to see what's going on behind the scenes. It's, it's almost like the curtain is pulled up and we can see uh, the powers that be and what's really going on um, behind the scenes. So uh, what was once unseen is now revealed. Um, so it's like power changes and uh, secrets are revealed. We are already seeing this on the global stage. There are there are a lot of world leaders that are you know have been caught with their pants down, so to speak. <laughs> we are seeing a level of corruption that we have not seen before, and we can't unsee that. Um, it's also causing rebellion. Uh, as well around the world, you know, with all different, um, you know, in all different countries, some for power, some for the climate, you know, various things are going on. This is a very karmic time. Um, we'll have to face probably some uh, hard realities ourselves. You see, Pluto is digging deep. It wants, you know, it wants, it wants everything out. It doesn't care, good or bad or indifferent. Um, so some of us may be scrambling to survive, like some of these world leaders um, are scrambling to survive, right? Um, this is a time for a lot of us, right, of the death of our old life and then the start and renewal of a new path forward. Um, because Pluto's all about kind of destruction and then it builds up. So it's breaking things down so new things can uh, build up in its place. Um, listen, do not fear these changes. These changes are inevitable. Um, and and they're usually for the best. It's just that we need to kind of get up and take the action and take care of ourselves and do what we need to do to move forward in, in our new direction or our new lives. Now, later on that day, right, on the same day, Mercury, which is the planet of communication and intellect, moves into Scorpio. Now, in Libra, it has been, you know, striving for balance and, and, and communication and intellect has been kind of uh, diplomatic and uh, fair. Um, and then as Mercury moves into uh, Scorpio, all those superficial kind of manners, communication manners are just thrown out 
um, to make way for deep and you know real and authentic conversations and 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 it's a time to really dig deep and and to seek out the truth which also amplifies this old Pluto uh, station and aspects with other planets so it's about deep intense discussions and debates and the search for truth because you know scorpio is the detective after all now on october the 2nd or 3rd depending on where you are on the planet mars moves into libra and in this energy we are liable to use our charm to get what we want um, we don't want to appear to be the bad person. You know, we want, we see this every side. We're trying to look at everybody's point of view and every side of the situation, but we are going to get what we want. So we're going to use our wit and charm to get what we want with this energy. Um, and as we kind of see every side to the situation, um, we can have a really intense debate with ourselves, right? So we can be up in our heads a lot and um and the shadow side we don't want to appear like the bad person at all so we're going to use um you know manipulation perhaps to get what we want and we're going to be very charming as we you know push you or nudge you in a direction that we want you to go um and the shadow side of this is uh, passive aggressiveness. So if we get angry, we're not direct. This is not kind of a direct, we're going around the situation. We're not being direct, we're more passive aggressive during uh, this uh, energy. So in summary, this is a time to address anything that we have put on the shelf, anything that we have ignored, anything that we have let kind of fester and grow in the dark because we don't want to deal with it or we it's overwhelming perhaps. It's time to just suck it up and deal with it and take action. And to be aware of manipulation, either people manipulating us or we manipulating others. It's important to not allow that or to see through that, not be easily swayed either way. Um, let's create good karma you know, and co-create with the cosmos. Um, empower yourself with the truth, whether it be good or bad. All right, then. Thank you so much for tuning in. And let's go to your tarot card, shall we? Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to your reading for September the 30th through October the uh, 6th. Please excuse my uh, raspy voice. Um, I have obviously been using it too much over the weekend. Okay, this is for Sagittarius. What wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings, and helpful information can you give Sagittarius for this coming week? Three cards for Sagittarius, please. Three cards for Sagittarius. Three cards for Sagittarius. Oh! Dear, dear, dear. Three cards. Oh, there's one. Two more cards. Oh, gosh, they listen. Spirit has a lot of messages for you. Two more cards for Sagittarius, please. Two more cards for Sagittarius. One more card for Sagittarius, please. One more card for Sagittarius. Oh, it's like they want to come out and they're not. Oh, one more card for Sagittarius, please. One more card. One more card for Sagittarius. Oh, here we go. Okay, they are very interesting. Okay, these are clarifying cards for Sagittarius. What wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings, and helpful information can you give Taurus? I mean, sorry, Sagittarius, for this uh, coming week through these clarifying cards. Please clarify. 
Okay, please clarify. Oh, okay, please clarify. Well, the clarifying cards came out a lot faster. Ah, okay. And take a look at your cards. Okay, the first card out is the Six of Wands. Clarified by the Ace of Wands. Then you have the King of Swords. Clarified by the Three of Swords. Then you have the Knight of Pentacles, followed by the High Priestess. Alrighty then. Okay, so the first card out is the Six of Pentacles. This is a celebratory card. This is you being celebrated, um, Sagittarius. This is you accomplishing something and something that you're proud of and everybody else acknowledges how, what a great, um, feet it has been for you to have accomplished this and so this you know this can be an accomplishment but it can just you being you it could be you being you um this can be at work getting accolades at work or you know at home even from your husband or your wife saying that you know you're doing a great job you're a wonderful father mother uncle aunt whatever this is it, it's non it's uh, it's not gender specific so this is you being celebrated um short and sweet um i feel that this can be uh this can be a promotion at work actually um this could be the start of a new job this could be some kind of project a creative project that you're start starting this is really a celebration for something that is starting to pay off so this could be a business a new business where you're being celebrated or you know as i said a new project but i have a feeling that this is work because it's not this is you know this is an opportunity right so the celebration can be a raise, it can be a promotion, it can be a new job. It's something that's uh, worth celebrating or you are being celebrated for it. Now, the next card is the King of Wands, uh, sorry, Swords. He's, you know, this intellectual, you know, he can represent, he can represent like a lawyer or, you know, a judge or a counselor he is you know rational and he is um strategic he's intelligent he knows how to communicate he's very uh, austere he does he's not kind of connected emotionally so he's a little dispassionate because you know he's he's like a judge you know he can bring down the gavel and uh, make a judgment and he's going to make a rational fair judgment but he's not kind of it's not emotional um now this could be your partner can be male or female this could be your partner and um and they communicate in a very logical and rational way um but um they're not kind of connected emotionally. So sometimes if they say something, it's the truth, they're the truth seekers, right? They can kick up the three of swords. And the three of swords is that what, you know, I always say, I can't, it always reminds me of the pain body, right? It's, this, it's a deep pain that was installed when we were young. And people, places, situations um, can bring this pain to the forefront. Um, stir up those feelings, those feelings of abandonment or betrayal or whatever it was, you know, however we interpreted this as a child or in our youth. And and it's a very deep, it's very real pain. Um, so this person can, can, you know, stir this up for us. So I say that because when the Queen of, uh, when the Three of Swords comes in, it's a time to release this. It's a time to let it in. This can be very Pluto energy. This change, this fear, this, you know, life is changing, and um, and we need to kind of move on in different directions. So uh, we have to move on from this pain. It's graduating from it. Look, the pain never goes away completely, but it does diminish 
over time when it's addressed, the fear of this pain is worse and creates more pain than the actual pain, actually. This is very Pluto. It's like addressing your issues. It's things are coming up that are creating this emotional pain in us. And we need to kind of let, set them to rest once and for all. Now, the next card up is the uh, Knight of Pentacles. He's the Green Knight. Knights, you know, can sweep you off your feet, right? They are... This person is very grounded, very gallant, very loyal, um, very strategic. He's determined. He's not fast like all the other knights. He's a little more... Um, he's slower and more deliberate. He's in for the long haul. He's emotionally available and he's, um, he, he's steady. He's very steady. Um, so this, look, this is about moving forward, um, but strategically and methodically. Don't, look, you know, with, with, Venus squaring Pluto, we have this, we could have this tendency to like fall head over heels over someone before we even know them. And it's kind of not realistic. And in doing so, our insecurities can, can uh, pop up and uh, we can become inauthentic. We become a person that we think they, they want. We become someone that's not true to our, to our being, to, to our soul. It's not true to us, and so it's actually off-putting. Instead of what we really want to do is we want to attract them. What we're doing is we're pushing them away because we're just acting weirdly, <laughs> right? So we have to be very careful. We have to proceed with caution. And, uh, and, and when we start to go down that, oh, my God, this is the one this is fabulous, they're amazing, um, you know, reel that in. Uh, don't be overzealous and, and uh, hold back and just move forward slowly. I'm not saying discount them, but don't go down, don't jump in the deep end is what I'm saying. And you've got the high priestess and the high priestess is going to give you the wherewithal. Trust your inner feeling, your gut feeling. Don't go with your head and you're like, oh, or just your heart. You know, go, make a, an informed and intelligent decision where your mind and your heart's connected and you tap into this wonderful power that the high priestess is giving you. She's giving you the keys to the Akashic Records, wisdom from the beginning of time, answers to all situations, problems, and um and solutions. So, uh, so tap into that. Trust your gut feeling. Go with your first gut feeling. You know, is this someone I can trust? Is this is this the right thing to do? And every time you go to do something that's not, um, look, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna say, "Oh wait, that's not right. That's not me. I'm not gonna do that because it's not me." Be you the authentic you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it um, with your friends, family, co-workers, uh, neighbors, and social media. Comment. I live for comments and feedback. And guys, um, thank you for all the likes, shares, and comments of last week. I really appreciate you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah! I love you all, and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.